Hey guys, this is Patrick Kegler from KDE Direct. I wanted to uh, quickly show you guys the upcoming 5215 XF series motors. Uh, we're very proud to be producing these and uh, they are a 22 pole, 24 slot motor specifically designed for multi rotors. So, what I wanted to show you here was how fast this motor can react to the tuned uh, speed controls that we just launched. So, as of KD Direct, we launched the uh, XF UAS 55 amp series. That is perfect match for this motor, and you'll get to see all the optimizations here in just a second. So, what what I'm set up here is a very basic uh, te uh, bench tester, and all it incorporates is we have an 18 inch um, propeller, carbon fiber propeller mounted on here, upside down, such that we're drawing dirty air in and blowing it upwards and that we're pushing down on this motor. So it's a very high thrust test. The motor itself is struggling to draw air because we're so close to the motor. So it pushes, it produces a lot of thrust on the motor and puts a lot of load on the motor, which is a good test. So, um, and then next to it is also a T-Motor U7. And this is the 420 KV edition. So the KV Direct 5215 series is the same size class. So it's a perfect, version to replace your T-Motor U7 or anything like that. And uh, the big differences between the two is the KD Direct again is a 22 pole and we can optimize the speed control to operate it uh, just perfectly where the uh, T-Motor version is just a basic 14 pole motor kind of old technology. You've seen these in airplanes for about 20 years so nothing special there but uh, we'll go ahead and I'll explain the test bed real quick. Um, powering this off of a 6S 10,000 milliamp pulse battery and driving it is a production UAS 55 amp controller. So, and then uh, on this particular setup, I'm going to have direct control from my transmitter and I'm just talking directly to a Futaba receiver here that's powered by a 2S LiPo. So, very simple setup. And now the motors are actually taped down with some VHB tape so they are rock solid to this table and pretty much I can't even tear them off. They're, they're almost permanently bonded there so nothing happens. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll be able to show you the stick. What I want to show you is all the optimizations we did for the KD speed controls to the motors. Um, ideally you want a speed control and a motor that are specifically tuned to each other. And what you'll get to see here is the speed control actually working at 600 hertz and just how fast the reaction time is on the motor. It's near instantaneous. So I'll go ahead and start it up. And you can see it's a nice good start up. And we can go ahead. And what I'll show you is how fast it can react. I'll, give, I'll see if I can get the stick in here. So, as you can hear, there's zero commutation errors, and the reaction speed is as fast as I can move the stick. So, just like a digital servo that typically reacts at about 560 hertz. Uh, it's right there. It's instantaneous and for your flight controller you're going to have extremely good flight control and performance. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and switch to the U-Series. Now I have throttle hold and I'll go ahead and unplug this and there's no tricks here. The power system is all the same and I'll go ahead and plug in the U-Series. So the U-Series being a 14 pole does not have such instantaneous torque ability and you'll hear and see there's quite a bit bigger delay in the way the motor reacts. So I'll go ahead and start up, make sure we're going the right direction, and we are not. So in that case, all you have to do is swap two of the wires, and we will be good to go. So, and we'll go ahead and start it up. And you can see again, it starts up the motor no problems. And what we're not seeing is any commutation errors. The U7 series is known to have commutation errors with a lot of speed controls, but the KD Direct one is driving it very well. I do not have a 490 here to test, so I don't know exactly how the 490 works, but what I'll do is go ahead and move the stick over here so we can watch the motor. Well, what you'll hear is how much slower the motor will react. So we'll go ahead and see what happens.
something off the wall here, but you can hear right there that the uh, motor itself is a lot slower to react, uh, and that's just because of the torque ability of a 14 pole. And uh, but the ESC itself, there's no commutation errors, nothing like that. So um, seems like it's all good to go. I do not know about the 490 series, but on the 55 amp, everything is running nice. And uh, as you can see, the difference in technology, the KDE Direct stuff is way more optimal. The speed control has some dynamic ability to recognize the motor and uh, adjust its parameters. So when it's run in the KDE series, which is designed for, it can run at six, 600 hertz and 16 kilohertz PWM. So it's very fast, reacts very much like a brushless servo. So hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will talk to you later.